Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to my YouTube movie. This is all about the Tiffany & Co collection that I own uh, as far as 2018. I might make another one if I get a bunch more, but honestly I'm not planning on spending any more money until 2019 because I really overdid it this year. Um, here's the map smug. It's really cute. It's made of fine bone china, and it has a rim of sterling silver on the top, I think. And that's one of the main reasons that you can't put this in the microwave. Everybody knows that you don't put metal in the microwave. Um, but anyway, I just picked this cup because I really liked it, and I really liked the map that it had. I'm just like a maps kind of girl. Like, I like maps. I don't really know why. I just think they're cool. Next we have the, um, I think it's called the paper cup, but actually it's bone china and these cups, they're very nice, they're very thick, um, and they have kind of a matte feel, like, um, I would, I would describe it as maybe like an eggshell kind of feel, um, yeah, it's just... It's pretty cool, and I like all the detail, like where you can see the seam on the back. I am planning on using these cups, but if you're not planning on using them, I just think the packaging is really nice with the very uh, high quality memory foam and the way they have it displayed in the box. You could just leave the box open and put it on a shelf and it would look really cute. Anyway, I was just very impressed by the quality and how heavy they are because they're actually quite heavy because the bone china is very thick. This is the rest of my collection. Um, it's all the Tiffany jewelry that you've been waiting for probably. Um, I'm going to show each piece individually uh, close up and kind of explain a little bit about each piece that I have. This is just kind of an overview right now. This is the beaded sterling silver um, bracelet with the blue enamel, the Tiffany blue enamel heart tag. And I just really like the style and how the Tiffany blue is on the heart. But also the size of the beads, I think it's perfect for uh, wearing with other bracelets. And it says uh, Tiffany & Co. Oh, the please return to Tiffany & Co. You know, like just the standard uh, stamp on the heart. This is one of the things that I bought secondhand. Also, this heart. Um, what is it? The uh, Elsa Peretti heart. I bought this one secondhand. I'm kind of thinking that maybe it's not an original, but I don't know. It just looks really good to me if it's not. And I don't have a chain for it. Like, normally you would see this on a chain, and I just keep not buying a chain every time I go into Tiffany's. This is a key ring. It's, it's for your house key, and whatever car key or whatever kind of key you want to put on here. It's stamped Tiffany & Co. And the blue heart tag that you're going to see later that's on my necklace, it actually came on this key ring they don't sell it separately and so that's why that's why I have just this key ring in my jewelry box because I really wanted the heart that came on it and it's sterling silver and the uh, letters they're in the Tiffany blue so you'll see that later these are something that I found in a jewelry jar and I flipped out when I saw the Tiffany and Co on the back and actually these were like something I didn't really like and so I just put them aside I knew they were silver 
but I couldn't read the back because it was like too like built up with dust and just dirt and stuff and the Tiffany & Co was completely covered so when I was scrubbing it and cleaning it I saw Tiffany & Co and I was like oh my gosh really like these and it just surprised me and um yeah I love them now <laughs> I didn't love them before but they're great now the uh, post is gold and then there's like the little twisted band of gold over the top um I'm getting behind we're on the ring now this is um I don't know what this is called it's got a special name but it's really cool the way it can slip on and off and Honestly, I feel like it slips off a little too easy, so I'm afraid to wear it and lose it. But this this is the older style, and it's a lot thicker than the newer ones. I'm trying to show you the Tiffany & Co. mark on it, but it's upside down and it's not focused perfectly. These are the Elsa Peretti heart earrings, and they have kind of an interesting back that's not really like the other earrings that I have. They're just really cute, very bright and white and shiny right now. Funny story, I actually found one at a second hand store. Only one! Like, and so I sent it in. And I paid for the other earring and they sent me a pair of earrings back and I only had to pay for one of them uh, full price now these bows I'm pretty sure that they're fake like they're just not authentic and you could tell by the quality um, I did pick them up secondhand but when I took them in to the store I could clearly see that they are not up to par with the Tiffany quality on their bow earrings and they're also like larger and yeah they just don't fit the bill for authenticity but this star does actually this is a new piece um, that I bought from Tiffany & Co online and I just love it it's a 18 karat gold star and this is one of the least expensive gold charms that you could buy this necklace um, is actually a Native American Indian necklace, definitely not Tiffany & Co, but I like to pair it with my necklace because it fits right above my charm necklace and I just, yeah, I like matching the color. Here's the sterling silver um, airplane charm and I love the stamp on the back of the wings and I love how the propellers move and how it's like a 3D shape and not just like 2D. Here's the shopping bag charm. I love all the detail on here. It's just so adorable. Here you can see the lines on the side of the bag and Tiffany & Co on the front. The inside is empty. And the bottom, it says T and Co. And then it says something that I can't really read. I would need an eye loop to read that. All right, moving on. The next charm you're gonna see is the heart tag that came on the key ring that I mentioned earlier. Now, the heart tag, it was on that key ring and then I took it off and I added this nice blue link at the top. And the blue links you can buy separately for $25 in the US. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get a hold of one of these heart tags 
because they're not sold separately and the key ring was on its way to being discontinued. But it's definitely one of my favorite pieces and I just had to have it on my necklace. The next piece is this um, 18 karat gold key. Now the gold key is something that I found in a bulk box of jewelry um, and apparently the person who sold me the box didn't know that this was a Tiffany ring uh, key because it was really dirty and the words were, were completely covered. It was unreadable. So yeah, like their loss is my gain, I guess. Next we have the lock, just shining it up a bit, and the lock has a big scratch on the front of it because my three-year-old son said, I'm going to unlock it, mama, and he took the gold key and he pressed it as hard as he could um, on the front of that. But anyway, here's an overview of what it looks like. Um, you see the gold star, the plane, the shopping bag, um, yeah. I didn't show you a, a good close-up of the bee charm that's at the end of this. I just realized. But, yeah, you could see it online, and here it is. Um, the star and the bee, they're not hooked on this necklace yet because I need to buy the links to hook them on this uh, necklace. But I have it just sitting there so you could kind of see what it looks like. If you're thinking about designing your own charm bracelet or necklace, just go to tiffanyandco.com, type in Tiffany Charms in the search bar, and then when you're scrolling down, there'll be an advertisement to kind of, I don't know, put together one, and you just click on that, and then you can um, pick the bracelet and pick the charms, and it'll show it to you like this. You could take a screenshot of it like I did, and save it for your future uh, future wish, wish list. There we go. Anyway, have a good day, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.